What you see here isn't a spaceship or a secret Pentagon weapon. It's a jet engine so powerful that, in theory, it could launch a skyscraper into space. Its enormous size makes any other engine look like a desk fan next to it. What makes the GE-9X so special? The GE-9X is the largest, most powerful, and most efficient jet engine ever built for a commercial airplane. It's specifically designed for the Boeing 777X, a monster capable of carrying up to 426 passengers. But do you know how big it really is? According to an expert colleague, it's about 3.4 meters in diameter. In other words, it's bigger than a full Boeing 737 cabin. In perspective, an average adult could fit inside, with enough room to stretch their legs. But it's not just its size that makes it so amazing, it's its ability to produce more than 100,000 pounds of thrust. That's the equivalent of trying to stop a freight train with your bare hands. If you've ever tried pushing a car uphill, you know how hard it is to fight gravity. Now, imagine that the car weighs 40 tons, and there's another one behind it, and another, and another. The GE-9X can lift all that and still have enough power to take you around the world. In fact, it's so powerful that it broke the Guinness World Record during testing, not because it looks pretty, but because it's the most powerful jet engine on planet Earth. This brings us to the next question. How can such a powerful engine not explode into a million pieces? We're talking about an engine that reaches temperatures that melt steel and generates internal forces strong enough to break it all apart if it weren't so well built. You see, the engineers at GE aren't normal humans. They're perfectionists obsessed with performance. Seriously, they're crazy. These guys dream of breaking and welding physics with titanium and composite ceramics. And in the middle of their work, they found the best way to make a big chunk of metal cross the planet at nearly 1,000 kilometers per hour. How? By using materials that seem straight out of a sci-fi movie, including composite ceramics that can withstand over 1,300 DGC without melting, and 3D printed fan blades. Yes, 3D printed. And an internal architecture so perfectly designed channels the air with surgical precision. And the best part? Its design uses less fuel than any previous engine. Imagine if a truck capable of towing a train consumed less than a scooter. That's what this engine can do. Every curve of the design, every gram of material, and every drop of air that enters and exits the GE9X is optimized to the millimeter. The fan blades are lighter and more aerodynamic, reducing drag, while the engine's core is thinner and allows the air to flow faster. This translates to lower emissions and lower operating costs. Which, by the way, is good for the environment. How does this beast work? All these technicalities sound great, but I still haven't explained how this engine works. By the way, don't hesitate to correct me if I say something wrong. I'm always open to learning something new. A jet engine essentially does the following. It takes in air, it compresses it, it mixes it with fuel, it ignites it, and then it generates an explosion that shoots that hot air backward. This generates thrust and moves the airplane forward. But the G9X takes all that to the extreme. It has a front fan so big it could suck in a car. That fan moves over 2,600 kilos of air per second. It's like having a tropical storm trapped inside the engine. A large portion of that air doesn't enter the combustion. It passes through the sides, surrounds the core, and helps push the plane. This is known as a high bypass ratio. What does that mean? For every kilo burned, more than 10 kilos just pass by. The unburned cold air still generates thrust without consuming fuel, and thanks to the mixing of hot and cold air, the engine noise is reduced. As a result, you get a monstrous, quiet thrust. Well, as quiet as you can expect from an engine that could launch a building into space. Why did they make it so big? But you must be wondering why this engine has to be so huge. I mean, have you seen the size of that thing? It's a beast. Now imagine having not one, but two of these monsters hanging off your plane. Wouldn't it be better to use smaller engines? Well, not exactly. The more air a motor moves, the more thrust it generates but it also becomes more efficient. And if you've been paying attention, the goal isn't just to fly faster, but to fly farther while using less fuel. 
And since we're in an era where every drop of fuel costs a fortune, this engine is like a savings goldmine for airlines. Every minute the GE9X runs, it moves more air than an entire city breathes. Yes, a city. And yet, it works so precisely that if even one part shifts by millimeters, everything would go to hell. Is it safe to have so much power in an airplane? Now let's talk about its power. Is it safe to have so much power in an airplane? The good news, yes. The bad news, if something goes wrong, well, it's best if you're not nearby. That's why these engines go through extensive testing, including throwing frozen birds at them, injecting pressurized water while running, simulating lightning and thunderstorm, and even intentionally breaking a fan blade to see if the others hold up. These tests aim to ensure that, even if something explodes inside, the engine doesn't fly off like a missile. And they work! If it weren't for them, nobody would feel safe flying. What does it feel like to be near one? If you're as crazy as I am, you must be curious about what it feels like to be near one of these engines. First, let me give you some advice. Don't even think about getting close to an airplane about to take off. Seriously, I don't want you to die. These engines generate enough suction to suck in large objects. That's why safety protocols say you need to stay more than 10 meters away when they're running. But if you're at a safe distance, like on a runway or behind a barrier, you'll experience one of the craziest sensations of your life. When the GE9X starts, the sound isn't high-pitched or explosive like a military jet. It's a deep, sustained roar with a low tone that you feel more in your body than in your ears. The pressure waves can make your chest vibrate. Then, you'll notice that the air around you starts moving. Not violently, but with a constant force, as if something huge is sucking everything toward it. The vibration intensifies when it accelerates to the max, but the sound remains surprisingly clean for such a gigantic engine. This is partly due to its high bypass ratio, which I mentioned earlier. So in that moment, you'll understand that you're standing in front of one of the most powerful machines ever created. When I heard a GE9X for the first time, I couldn't help but wonder, what if such a beastly engine could lift a spaceship? If you're as imaginative as I am, I'm sure it crossed your mind too. Here's what I discovered. Could a GE9X lift a spaceship? First of all, the GE9X isn't designed to leave the atmosphere. But if we're talking pure thrust, it's in the same league as rockets. The crucial difference is that a rocket burns all its fuel in seconds, generating a massive explosion to shoot off into space. Meanwhile, the GE-9X was designed for efficiency, allowing it to stay on for hours, taking a plane from continent to continent without falling apart. If, for some reason, you put this engine on a private jet, it would be like placing a Formula One engine on a tricycle. Fun, sure, but a terrible idea. It has way too much power for something so small, but at least it wouldn't be a boring ride. However, you'd need enough money to buy a GE9X before you do that. How much money are we talking about exactly? Between 40 and 50 million dollars. Yes, millions for just one engine. And an airplane has two. That means that just in engines, a 777X already exceeds 90 million. Yet for airlines, it's worth every penny, because they're not just more powerful and safe, they also save up to 10% in fuel per flight. And when your business depends on crossing the Atlantic every day, that 10% is the difference between going bankrupt or making more money than you could ever dream of. Is this the limit of our current technology? It's hard to imagine a more powerful engine with what we have today, but all signs point to the fact that we're just scratching the surface of what we can create. It sounds scary, but it's also exciting. The engineers are already working on more efficient alternatives, hybrid, electric, and even hydrogen powered. So I think it won't be long before they develop something even more impressive. This video took a lot of work, so if you liked it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment on which part liked you the most. Seriously, it really helps the channel keep growing. In the next videos, you'll learn about the plane that flies without a pilot, the one that takes off vertically, and the one that never needs to land.